Good morning. Welcome this morning to prayers that light our path. I'd like to share a verse this morning from Philippians 4, verses 6 and 7. The Bible tells us, Do not be anxious about anything, but in every situation. By prayer, by petition, with thanksgiving, present your requests to God. And the peace of God, which transcends all understanding, will guard your heart and your minds in Jesus Christ. You know, it seems like with everything we're juggling in our day-to-day -day lives, we can be anxious about so many things. We worry about our family, our friends, our job, our finances, our health, and all kinds of other things. The scripture, though, is very clear that we should flee from anxiety and from worry. You know, choosing to avoid worrying is really not an option, rather it's a biblical command. Paul states in his letter to the Philippines, do not be anxious about anything. But it doesn't stop there. He continues on encouraging the Philippians and all of us today to bring everything that we're worried about to God. Do not, don't miss what Paul is saying when we present our worries and requests to the Lord, he doesn't say that God will answer our prayers exactly how we desire. He doesn't say that we'll always get our way. He doesn't tell us that the answers will come exactly when we hoped for. He doesn't promise any of those things. Instead, though, Paul assures us that we will experience a deep level of peace that only the Lord can provide to us. Because he, he tells us, but in every situation by prayer and by petition, with thanksgiving, present your request to God. And the peace of God, which transcends all understanding, will guard your hearts and minds in Christ Jesus. In other words, my friends, we don't need to worry about anything because worrying doesn't get us anywhere. When something is out of your control, it's tempting Believe me, it's tempting to worry about it. Instead, what we should do is to choose to bring our anxieties and requests to our Heavenly Father. Only then will we experience true, supernatural peace in the midst of all these worldly troubles. Go with me this morning in prayer. Father, we thank you this morning for these words of wisdom from your book. Father, be with us as we transcend our days let encourage us and, and, and persuade us, Father, through your word to bring all of our worries to you. You don't want us to worry. You want us to have a trouble-free, worry-free life as much as possible. Father, we thank you for all the blessings that you have given to us and all that you will continue to bless us with in the future. Father, we pray this morning for all of those who are sick. We pray this morning for those who are in hospice, who have cancer, who have various other types of illnesses, that you will wrap your arm around them and that you will give them the strength and the hope they need to transcend this illness and the power they need in their, in their bodies to overcome it. Father, we love you. And in your name this morning we pray. Amen. My friends, as we go through the day, if you have a worry, if you have a trouble, Turn it over to God. Turn it over. Leave it at God's feet. That's what he asks us to do. Have a wonderful, safe, glorious, and happy day.